guys welcome to the start of another weekly reading vlog today is monday july 2nd so sorry for the sun it's like the sun is hitting the window at like a really intense angle and like i can't see so i had to pull the blinds all the way down now it's just like here I don't know, man, it's the sun. But anyways, to start off this vlog, last night I started Reaper at the Gates after I finished both An Ember in the Ashes and A Torch Against the Night. Last week, I also started tabbing my books, so that's exciting. I am on page 98. So far, like, I'm literally loving this so much. My heart is, like, already torn out of my chest, and I'm less than 100 pages in, like how is Saba doing this to me? Like, I just need to keep reading and, you know, know what happens to these characters. And uh, I love this series so much. Saba is an amazing writer. I even have, um, I like created a tab in this book for just like lines where I thought that the writing was just like phenomenal. And like, uh, just, I just want them to all be okay. And like, just things are gonna happen in this book. I know it. And like, I just, I'm so happy that I'm reading this and this is one of my most anticipated reads of the year. I really am just loving everything about it so far. Also, I really love this cover. It's like a very matte feel to it. I don't know how to like describe it, but like I just like love the way that it feels in my hands. I feel like a lot of reading is tactile. Like I just like love the feeling of like a book, a hardcover book, like the, you know, the covers. And I think that's one of the reasons why I don't like reading on Kindle because you kind of, you lose that like tactile sense of like what it feels like to be reading. Ooh, and on the back it says all empires fall. This one, it's gonna be a heavy hitter, man. Like I may cry and I never cry with reading books. I literally, I did almost cry at one point already and I'm less than 100 pages in. That's how that's going. <laughs> Next, I have some very exciting book mail. Look at this giant package from Amazon. I thought it would be heavier, but apparently not. So let's open this. Ah, look what it is. It's the box set. Ooh. It's the box set for the Mortal Instruments. There's like a really bad glare. Okay, so I changed position so that the sun was no longer blaring in my face, but look what I have, the Mortal Instruments box set. I was going with the UK editions and I had the first three and then I looked on Amazon and this box set was pretty cheap and it was like about the same price for the last three books and like what I was going to pay for the entire six books and also I checked these out in Barnes & Noble and these don't crease as you're reading them and the UK editions crease really badly so I figure I'll put that collection on hold for now and just use these ones for my reread with my best friend. I already read City of Bones so right now I'm about to start City of Ashes hopefully this week. Ah, I'm opening them. I, it didn't come in like a box which like I wasn't going to use the box anyways because I'm like reading them but it's like kind of disappointing if like you're someone that wants the box. So they're all falling all over. Can't even hold them. Good thing I took pictures with these and they were in the plastic. But oh, these are gonna look so good on my shelf. Start my little Shadow Hunters collection because now I'm getting re obsessed with Shadow Hunters. Okay, now I'm pissed because these are the UK ones and I wanted the American ones. Okay, these are this is so annoying because these are not the ones that I wanted. So like these ones don't have like the the like page and then whatever. And they're gonna crease when I read them, I can already feel it. This is very annoying. I thought I was getting such a deal, but no, apparently I got the UK ones and they're not the ones that I wanted. Okay, I like sound dumb whining about like the books that I got not being the right edition. So I mean, maybe I'm a book, a real book collector now because usually I just wouldn't care, I would read them. But it sucks when you're trying to get a particular book and then the bookseller just sends you the wrong thing. So that's a bummer, I guess I'm gonna have to return those. Anyways, I'm gonna go figure out that situation. Um, hopefully get the right books and then read them and you know, call it a day, so. Also fun, I'm going to my grandma's house. She lives on the beach and we're gonna hang out for a few days and my grandma loves to read. So we're just gonna read together on the beach and I'm very excited. So hopefully you guys will see some beach footage coming up. All right. Okay, hello, I'm back. It is now after dinner. And so um, I definitely had like a meltdown before about the books, but I was just like the shock 
of seeing that it's not the thing that you ordered. Totally fine. Everything is fine. Nothing to worry about. I was just being melodramatic. The reason that I don't want to read like my like pretty UK ones that I have is that like I just feel like they and I don't mind like some creasing on my books but I feel like I'm getting them to collect them and then they're creasing like really badly and it just kind of like ruins the look of it but the US editions with like the people on the spines okay these ones but in the United States versions I like was looking at them in the uh in Barnes and Noble and they like have the type of binding I don't know like I mean I don't know technical terms but they have the type of paperback binding where it doesn't crease and I've like seen that on a few other books before and I like just appreciate it and like it because like I said normally I wouldn't care but like now that I'm getting into like having a bookshelf and stuff and like collecting them like now it's starting to bother me and it's annoying me that it's bothering me and I don't want to be like this but here I am Melissa and I are reading the first three books and then we are reading uh the infernal devices which I have and I actually got some like really great copies of those ones on a books i think and i actually got one of like the first editions of clockwork princess and i wasn't even expecting to so sometimes you can find really good used books on a books but i find that they have to be books that have been out for a while like it can't be in your release and um that are like pretty popular enough that there's would be like a lot in circulation that people are returning sometimes you can find good deals but it's just hard finding used books online because you never know what you're going to get until it arrives at your doorstep so make sure that if you do that that it's either cheap enough that you don't care if it's bad or you can get free return shipping anyways it's time for me to go to target and barnes and noble now is being added to my trip so i can get city of ashes because i'm just so like annoyed still but it's fine you want to know what it is what it is. I'm just gonna like take some like deep breaths, do some like meditation. It'll be fine. All right. See you guys tomorrow at the beach. Hello. So it is Tuesday, July third. I'm at my grandma's house, and I last night I was just on the beach all day reading. They broke the gates. I'm now up to page two hundred and seventy-seven. The story is gripping. I literally can't stop reading. So many things are happening. My mind is being blown. The story is going in 10,000 different directions. And like, I don't know how Saba does it. She just created like all these moving parts in the story. And wow, it is good. All right, so here's a little view of what I'm looking at while I'm reading. I'm on the balcony in my grandma's condo building, as you can see. It's a very nice reading view. Gonna read a little bit more of my book before dinner, and that's that. Hello, it is the 4th of July. And I've just been on the beach reading all day. This is my view right now. I'm again on my grandma's patio. It's so pretty. I sat at the pool deck all day and read my book. I finished Reaper at the Gates. Look at all those tabs. And I also am on page 85 of City of Ashes. I have literally flown through this book. I went to Barnes and Noble and I got the US edition of these paperbacks and they're so much sturdier and nicer than the UK ones. So I'm just gonna buy them as I go. I just like, the story is like addicting. I love everything Shadowhunters. I need to like read all the books now. My friend Melissa that I'm doing this whole buddy read with who I've mentioned 10,000 times in all of my vlogs. I text her and I'm like, oh, where are you at? She's like, I'm on page 100. Like you just started so I should have time before I need to pick it back up again. And I was like, mm, I'm on page 85 and I just started it today. So we might want to speed up. It's really fun reading it with a friend. I just have someone that I can talk to everything Shadowhunter about besides, you know, talking into my camera about it. We're gonna go watch the fireworks. Maybe I'll bring my camera down and see like if I can get any decent footage now that I have like a nice camera and not just my phone. But overall, I'm just hanging out by the pool, chilling, enjoying life, and it's really fun.
everyone. It's Friday, July 6th. I got back from my grandma's yesterday. I didn't really get a chance to record much footage while I was there because I was just hanging out with my family. I went to the beach, read a lot of books, and I will tell you how it went. Okay, firstly, I finished Reaper at the Gates and I read An Ember in the Ashes, Torch Against the Night, and Reaper at the Gates straight through. So this book was amazing. Torch Against the Night and Reaper at the Gates were the first books that I decided to tab and I had been contemplating it for a while. Also, sorry that my hair is wet. I just took a shower. If I waited any longer to film, the sun would go down and I wouldn't have any light. Someone came to visit. It's Zoe. Oh, she's wet because she was just outside. Zoe. Say hi to all the viewers. I think they're here mostly for you. Hi. Hello. Oh, she's so snuggly. I love her so much. Look at that fish. Yeah, do you like belly rubs? Oh, look at that belly rub. Oh, oh she wants to get down. Look at her. Hi. Oh, she's off to explore. Who knows what that critter is up to. This was like the first book that I fully started the book and started tabbing. Uh, I started A Torch Against the Night and I was just blown away by some of the... Oh, stop making noises, Zoe, come here. I was blown away by the writing and there were just like some lines that were so magical and I needed to tab them because I needed to know to reference back to them. And as you can see, there are many tabs in here. I didn't like, I kind of had a color code, but these were just tabs that I had lying around and I'm gonna like develop a color code with tabs that I can buy at the store all the time because these were just ones that I got at BookCon. But I really thought that this book was so good. Again, I think Zoe. I think that Saba really shines when she's writing about emotional struggles of the characters and there was definitely a lot of that. Definitely the plot went in an unexpected direction and I thought the action that had been building up through the past two books you know, kind of came to a head here. I am so nervous and excited for book four because I just need to know what's gonna happen to them. Also, I'm gonna insert this funny meme here that I found about looking at Elias Viteria's fan art because I'm, Elias is one of my new fictional crushes, I think, and some people draw some really good fan art of him, that's all I'm saying. I also started City of Ashes, my reread with my best friend Melissa. I'm finding this one actually a lot easier to get into than City of Bones. Again, I just, it's so much fun rereading these because I really love this series and it's been so long since I've been in this world but there were a few things in City of Bones that would pull me out of the story such as like really unnecessarily complex vocabulary um, and really like obscure art references but this book is reading much much better and it's just so fun to read the plot is really picking up pace I really have nothing but good things to say like I just I'm having a lot of fun reading this Amazon oh, Zoe come here now that I've like gotten more into the booktube world, I'm definitely, I'm more into hardcovers. I always used to be like, eh, it's fine if I get a paperback and you know, like whatever if the spine gets cracked. But now that I'm kind of collecting books, I would prefer something that's a little bit, if it's paperback, I want it to be sturdy. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to spring for the hardcovers now because they just stay up a lot better and they look nicer on the shelf. The next book that I started last night and I just wasn't sure how I was gonna feel going into it because I was tired, but it's a Fury Born by Claire Legrand. As you can see, I already have tabs. I only read the prologue. Um, I got this book at BookCon and you know, I've just been hearing so much hype about it. And I love that there are character art cards that are like out in the world because I love it when there's official fan art for a book series so I can get a good visualization of what the characters look like before I even start reading. So on this book, I'm on page 15, so I really have not read a lot of this at all, but I read the prologue and oh my god, I was blown away. I was just so intrigued and I was like, my heart was pounding and I'm like, this is the first part of the book. How do I already feel all of these things? The prologue is called an end and a beginning. So um, it basically uses the plot device of showing how the story ends and then before you know you know how it begins and I find if you use correctly it's really like oh my god because you know how it's gonna end but you don't know how you get there and you just need to read to figure out what's going on and I haven't 
And one of the things that really intrigues me about this story is that it takes place a thousand years apart from each other, the two storylines, and I'm really curious to see like how the stories will play into each other. So very very excited to continue reading and see how this goes. I have high hopes, lots of people have loved this and I know like I love me some good fantasy so I know this is right up my alley. So what I'm going to do right now is I want to, before the light goes away, do a little bit of arranging of my bookshelf. Zoe, come here. Hello. Oh, she's going to help me with this part. So what I want to do right now is I want to arrange my bookshelf. There's just like a shelf or two that I want to fix around a little bit. Um, so hopefully I have some light to do that by. Hi. I'm so obsessed with this dog. I know for so much. So, my assistant here is going to help me arrange my bookshelves. Isn't that right? Are you going to help? Hmm? Oh, mm. she doesn't want affection. Okay, bye. You're still going to help me though, right? Okay, so to the bookshelves we go. not the best light but I just updated my TBR shelf so here's what it looks like and here's what I hope to read in the future and I have my little Funko Pops Harry Potter book like bookmark thingies and my bookmark muck so it's right by my bed hey guys so today is Saturday yeah it's Saturday July 7th Ooh, I will hair sticking up here I really slept in very late today. I don't know why I just didn't get out of bed. So I'm a little behind on my schedule, but I am gonna film my a little bit the late July TBR today and maybe one other video. We'll see how the time goes, but just to update you on how my reading has been going. I'm in the middle of City of Ashes for my buddy read. I'm on page 149, so I did not read any of this because I'm waiting for Melissa to catch up with me but I spilled like a little bit of water on my book. So it's like just a little crinkly. 
you can see, it's very disappointing. But you know what? Each book has a story to tell. And this story is that I spilled water on my book. It is what it is. It is so like disgustingly hot out today. Like I would usually like to sit outside and read, but like I literally can't even be inside without sweating. Like Florida in the summer is just like, you need to go in the pool like every day or you're gonna sweat to death essentially. And I also am reading more of Furyborn and I'm blown away by how much I like this so far. I wasn't sure about it when I picked it up. I've heard really great things, but I was like, I've been reading a lot of fantasy. I was like, do I want to read another one? Well, yeah, of course I want to read another one because the only thing I read is fantasy, essentially. Um, I'm really liking this so far. I am on page 121. So this flips back and forth between the two perspectives of our two main characters. And usually like in a lot of stories, sometimes that bothers me because there's especially things like when I would read Game of Thrones and other multi-perspective stories, you know, sometimes you're more invested in one storyline than the other. So for example, when I read An Ember and Ashes, those separate storylines didn't necessarily always bother me because they propelled the entire plot forward, which is how usually I think that if you're in a multi-perspective, how it should work. But in this story, it's a little jarring because both of the stories take place a thousand years apart. They're completely different and you don't quite know, you know, how they're going to converge or even connect in the end because it's so vastly different. I was like a little bit afraid of how I would feel with just the flip-flopping back and forth between the different characters every chapter, but every chapter is really gripping and I find myself invested in both of these characters' stories. Like I like them both equally, so I'll finish one chapter and I'll be like, oh, like I want to know what happens to her next. But then I'm reading the next chapter and I was like, oh, but I wanted to know what happened in this storyline too. So I think that even though this can be a very hard plot device to pull off, Claire Legrand does it really well and I'm very excited about this book. Also, there were exclusive character cards that came out when this book was released and I found them for $5 on eBay, so I may buy them. So, the life of a bookworm, man. I just spend all my money on book-related things. It is what it is. So yeah, my plan for the rest of the day is I'm gonna sit down um, and like type out what I wanna say. I think I'm gonna do my July TBR, maybe plan out one other video. I do like two videos a week, I think, because more than that is a lot. So like a reading vlog and one other video, just as I'm getting started. More than that, I'd probably run out of ideas. <laughs> so that's my plan. And I'm gonna go to the gym, and if I have time, I'm gonna sit out and read, but it looks like it's about to storm. So it will probably be storming by the time I get around to coming back from the gym. Just popping in to say, I'm going to 1,010% regret wearing a long sleeve shirt to the gym, but it's just too cute not to, so. Yeah, I'm gonna be sweaty, but I'm gonna look cute while I sweat. So, there is the moral to that story. Hello, it is Sunday, so I'm just about to wrap up this reading vlog. It's gonna be like the quickest clip ever because I'm about to run out the door for dinner with my family. But just as a recap, this week I read Reaper at the Gates. I'm currently on page 219 of Furyborn, really loving it so far. And I'm on page 207 of City of Ashes. All right, have some fun, read some books, and I'll see you guys in the next one.